meteorologist Alex Forbes joins us now after storms rumbled through central Georgia this evening. Alex, I went to go grab some coffee and I made it back into the station just in time before yes. it started pouring. I was I heard the rain on the roof and I heard the door open. I was like just in the nick of time you made it in the building. Yeah, we got a lot of rain here at the station in Macon and really areas across central Georgia got a lot of rain. Here's what we're looking at right now. Still a few uh, sprinkles, let's call them in Hancock and in Washington counties. That's going to continue to move towards the north, towards Tolliver, Warren, Glasscock counties here over the next few minutes. But yeah, here's a look at what we saw today. This storms really came up from the south and blew up right as they hit Interstate 16 or so. And the models really didn't do a good job on forecasting that today. So we were saying scattered afternoon storms and it turned into more of a line moving up from the south across central Georgia. As for now, 72 degrees is the current temperature in Macon winds out of the southeast at seven miles an hour coming off the Atlantic. Humidity is at 93%. It's been humid all day today. 72 in Macon, 71 in Warner Robins, 73 in Montezuma, 74 in Unadilla, 72 in McRae, and 73 in Swainsboro as we are coming up on midnight about to start the work week. Here's what temperatures are going to do through the overnight hours. Not much moderation. We're going to be dealing with cloud cover as we go through the entire overnight hours. And when we have cloud cover, it acts as a blanket, so our temperatures are not going to fluctuate much. But tomorrow they will. We'll start off in the 70s like you just saw. Actually, I think we'll get briefly into the 60s for our overnight low, but then we'll warm into the 80s with the high temperature only in the middle 80s tomorrow, unlike the 90s from what we saw today. We will have more showers and storms, though. I'll show you that on future view right now, actually. So like I said earlier, the models didn't handle today that well, so tomorrow could be the same, but here's what we've got right now. Scattered showers, for the noon hour, then as we get further on in the day, then we could be looking at pockets of heavy rain across the area. And this model is keeping some of the heavy rain around overnight Monday into Tuesday. So we'll be watching for that tomorrow night. Certainly check in with Ben tomorrow and see uh, any updates on that. Then on Tuesday, another rain chance, though not as great as Monday. And as we go through the week, the rain chances will be stair step down all the way down to about 20% as we move in toward Thursday and Friday. So here's a look at the long range models. And now watch this here between Friday and Saturday. Notice a piece of energy come down from Tennessee. Going to watch that closely because when we get that kind of setup, we could see some strong thunderstorms as we head into the end of the week and the start of next weekend. All right, let's talk about rain totals between now, so this Sunday night, all the way to next Sunday night. We could be looking at upwards of an inch and a half to two inches of rain throughout the entire week across central Georgia. This is the official forecast from NOAA. This isn't a model run, which means people have messed with it, taken into account all the atmospheric conditions and what we could be dealing with. It's going to remain humid tomorrow. Dew points in the low 70s, tropical in nature. At one point, it had 74 in Macon, which was the same dew point as New Orleans. So they're down there on the Gulf. We could be looking at something similar here in central Georgia tomorrow. Really quick on the tropics, we do have an area we are now watching in the Caribbean Sea, 20% chance of development over the next five days. We'll keep an eye on it. Check back with Courtney tomorrow morning. She'll have the latest from the National Hurricane Center. Tomorrow, high temperature of 85 with more afternoon storms and a 70% chance of rain and sunrise will be at 626. Your seven day forecast shapes up like this. 60% chance of rain on Tuesday. Then we're down to 30 on Wednesday with 20 on Thursday and Friday. We'll tick back up to 30 for next weekend.